similar triangles. Now, what are similar triangles? In triangle ABC and triangle PQR, if in these two triangles, angle A is congruent to angle P, your one to one correspondence, A goes to P, angle A is congruent to P, angle B is congruent to angle Q, and angle C is congruent to angle R. And ratio of its sides, pairs of sides, AB upon PQ. Here AB is 5, PQ is 10. So 5 upon 10. Reduce 5 ones are 5 twos are 1 upon 2 will be the ratios. AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR. BC 8 upon 16, again 1 upon 2, and AC upon PR, that is also 1 upon 2. So, if in two triangles, if its corresponding angles are congruent and the sides are in proportion, these are all equal, then the two triangles are similar. Now test for similarity of triangles. So first test is angle angle test. So for one to one correspondence, if in triangle PQR and triangle XYZ, if angle P of one triangle is congruent to corresponding angle X of, of another triangle and angle Q of one triangle is congruent to angle Y of another triangle, then this two triangle PQR is similar to triangle XYZ by angle angle test of similarity. Second test of similarity is side angle side test. Here also for one to one correspondence, if in triangle ABC and triangle PQR, if pairs of corresponding sides, now pairs means side AB upon side PQ is equal to side BC upon side QR and the angle between these two sides of both the triangle B, angle B is congruent to corresponding angle Q, then these two triangles are similar by side angle side test of similarity and last is side 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 test in which for one to one correspondence all three pairs of sides of one triangle are proportion with the remaining three sides of the other triangle so here ln upon xy is equal to mn upon yz is equal to ln upon xz then these two triangles are similar triangle lmn is similar to triangle xyz by sss test of similarity practice set 1.3 first example in adjoining figure Angle ABC is equal to 75. Angle EDC is also 75. State which two triangles are similar and by which test. Also write the similarity of these two triangles by proper one to one correspondence. So let us consider the two triangles in triangle ABC and triangle EDC, these two triangles, angle ABC, this angle, angle ABC is congruent to angle EDC. 
which is given each 75 degree. Then angle A C B is congruent to angle E C D. This angle C is in triangle A B C as well as in triangle E D C. So it is a common angle. Now here two angles of one triangle are congruent to corresponding two angles of the another triangle. Hence these two triangles, triangle A B C is similar to triangle E B C by angle angle test of similarity. Hence, one to one correspondence of these two triangles A, B, C, one to one corresponds to A goes to E, B goes to D, and C is going to C. This is one to one correspondence of this both the triangle. Second example, in triangle PQR and triangle LMN, the length of the sides are given, we have to prove that are this triangle similar, if S then by which test they are similar. So corresponding length of the sides are given, so we will see the ratio PQ upon LM. PQ upon LM, PQ is equal to 6 upon 3, reduce to the lowest form, 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 2 upon 1. Then QR, 1 to 1 correspondence, QR corresponds to N, N, which is equal to QR 8 upon 4, MN is 4 which is equal to 4 1s are 4 2s are 2 upon 1 then third PR side PR corresponds to side and, and that is 10 upon 5 5 1s are 5 2s are all three ratios are same 2 upon 1 2 upon 1 2 upon 1 therefore corresponding sides are in proportion PQ upon LM is equal to QR upon MN is equal to PR upon LN therefore triangle PQR is similar to triangle LMN by side 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 test of Similarity. Fourth example in triangle ABC, AP is perpendicular to BC, BQ is perpendicular to AC, B dash, P dash, C, A dash, Q dash, C. Prove that. Triangle CPA is similar to triangle CQB. If AP is 7, BQ is 8, BC is 12, hence find AC. So there are two parts. First part is you have to prove triangle CPA is similar to triangle CQB, and second part is you have to find side AC. Now in triangle CPA and triangle CPA is right angle triangle and triangle CQB is another right angle triangle CQ. 
QB. Angle APC is congruent to angle BQC. Here APC is 90 degree and BQC is also 90. So each angle measure is 90 degree. So both are congruent. Then second angle ACP angle ACP is congruent to angle PCQ angle BCQ this angle C is common in both the triangles CPA as well as CQB so it's a common angle hence two angles of one triangle are congruent to corresponding two angles of another triangle therefore triangle CPA is similar to triangle CQB by angle angle test of similarity this is first part hence we have proved the first part now second part we have to find is now these two triangles are similar therefore now triangle CPA is similar to triangle CQB once two triangles are similar their corresponding ratios are equal therefore CP here 1 2 3 1 2 3 okay so see the technique 1 2 3 means CP upon CQ is equal to PA 2 3 that is PA upon QB it is applicable only when 1 to 1 corresponding corners is perfect so PA is equal to QB and CA is equal to CB that is corresponding side of similar triangle are in proportion now here CP we don't require CP and CQ CP is also not given CQ so this ratio we are we not require we require this PA now PA PA is given 7 that is PA upon QB is equal to CA upon CB. So PA is equal to 7 upon QB is also given that is 8 is equal to CA we have to find AC that is and CB is equal to 12. Cross multiply 8 into CA is equal to 7 into 12. So CA is equal to 7 into 12 divided by 8. 4 twos are 8, 4 threes are 7 threes are 21 upon 2. That is CA is equal to 2 ones are 10.5 units. That is AC is equal to 10.5. Last sum of practice set 1.3. In adjoining figure in triangle ABC, point D is on side BC such that angle BAC, angle BAC is congruent to angle ADC. You have to prove that CA square is equal to CB into CB. Now, we will take two triangle as per one to one correspondence. So, in triangle BAC, in triangle BAC and triangle ADC and triangle ADC. 
here b goes to a a goes to b and c goes to c in these two triangles angle bac is congruent to angle angle bac is congruent to angle a b c which is given then second in this big triangle and this small triangle this angle c is in triangle abc as well as in triangle adc so it's a common angle angle c is congruent to angle c it is common angle in both the triangles it is a common angle in both the triangles therefore triangle b a c is similar to triangle a d c by angle angle test of similarity angle angle test of similarity hence if two triangles are similar then their corresponding sides are in proportion so we we'll consider now triangle bac is similar to triangle abc so ba upon ad 1 2 3 1 2 3 is equal to ac upon dc is equal to bc upon ac corresponding sides of similar triangles are in proportion so now here is our to prove where whatever requires terms are there those only we take so this is the so therefore ac upon bc is equal to bc upon ac that is just change the order of the vertex that right ac as you can write as ca upon cd is equal to cd upon ca do the cross multiplication ca into ca is equal to cb into cd That is therefore C A square is equal to C B into C D. Hence, we have proved it.